so congratulations on Summit Fever. Thank you, man. And tell us a little bit about your character, JP. I mean, he seems to be the one who really has the Summit Fever in the in the film. And he's sort of driving everyone to take risks and maybe do some things that they wouldn't want to do normally. Absolutely. I mean, uh, JP is a really passionate character. He's really passionate about climbing, mountaineering, and getting in sponsorship. So he's the one really pushing his friends toward his personal goal. So he's a little bit actually selfish, but I think it's coming from a passionate point of view. Uh, so he definitely has this summit fever. Um, and he's also, he's a sensitive guy, but you know, when I believe when you really want something really bad, uh, it could be a dream, could be um, a goal, personal goal. I think you put everything on the side and that's what JP is doing. But mountaineering is the risk are really high and it's life or death risk. So that puts him in a really funny position where he has to commit 100% with friends, with family, uh, with uh, his physical uh, side also. So that was really, really uh, interesting and challenging to portray him in this film. Let's talk about shooting some of those scenes. How much of it was green screen? How much, how much of it was real? How, how did you go about shooting those? It was all on location. We shot everything between Chamonix, Italy and Switzerland. So we were actually climbing and going up on the glacier and doing almost every single stunt by ourselves. The only thing where we used green screen was we were, for example, climbing in Chamonix, a uh, rock uh, climbing wall. And instead of being 1,000 meters up high, we would be maybe 30 meters up high and use a green screen on the grass. So you have this feeling of height, but there is no studio uh, whatsoever. We were literally climbing. We were literally cold, you know, all the time. <laughs> uh, I remember the very first day of the shooting, we went up high to 3,800 meters. And that was the first day. And we were up there for 10 days and it was minus 10 or 15. And I was literally, you know, uh, freezing myself. And that was the condition on the shoot. Uh, really feeling what the character is feeling and, uh, you know, the height, the, the cold. And uh, so that was helping us to, you know, portray the character as well. Yeah. So how much um, actual climbing experience did you have to be able to do this role? So beforehand, I was... I was not really climbing. I was not such a climber. I was a fit guy in general, but I, I went into a gym, a uh, climbing gym, and really tried to focus on climbing and the technical side of it. So I, I spent, I would say, because I booked the role a couple of months back, so I had some time to, to focus on that. So I'd say I, would, I was climbing for a year, more or less, to get the feeling, try to uh get physically into the characters i was running a lot doing a lot of cat cardio work because uh up high in the altitude you're short of breath so and we have to do scenes you know all over again for you know 10 times so i really needed to have a really good physical condition and to be able to to do my own stunts i didn't want to look like a fool you know doing the climbing so i really want to get that technical aspect of climbing so i yeah i'd say i'd spend between six months to a year climbing and then having like a physical uh, training as well. Yeah. Were you scared shooting any of these scenes? I mean, I, 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 personally, I would find it terrifying, but <laughs> I mean, I really tried to put myself into this JP's mindset. So it was more a challenge than being scared. I knew we had, you know, we had so many guides uh, uh, having us safe and secure, but still you know being on location it's definitely a challenge but i i felt really safe and i like this challenging part of the job you know i myself do a lot of expedition and mountain biking pretty uh, intense sport so I w it was more of a challenge you know yeah yeah uh was there ever a moment shooting it that you felt mm, this is <laughs> this is getting a little bit scary for me i mean every single day was like this you know I, I, you were just like Fuck, I hope this rope is going to hold on, you know. I hope the, the guy is well awakened, so it's not he's going to hold me tight. Because it's in like in climbing, you know. There's just another guy at the end of the rope holding the rope. And at the end of the day, it's just how 
good the guy is and uh so but i i got to spend some time with the mountain guides and i really felt confident with them so at the end of the day you know i remember okay maybe one day we were in a slope literally like almost um flat um slope and we were filming a bv scene where we were supposed to sleep on the face and everybody was roped um and we were literally in the slope so if anything would have happened there is no safety net that was really that we were maybe 2000 meters high so if anything the rope got frozen and maybe a cut or a bad movement uh that would be a serious uh problem but luckily you know nothing really bad happened well we're happy we're happy about that for you <laughs> we're still <laughs> talking so you know <laughs> uh, so kick us a little bit behind the scenes you've got some great young actors um on the film uh freddie and matilda and um also ryan Philippi, more of a veteran talk a little bit about the kind of uh behind the scenes moments was there anything that you'll you'll take away a moment for uh, look back on this experience of uh, shooting this so we were lucky we got to spend time together before the shoot and even during the shoot so that really got us close together because we were supposed to be best friends with freddy really good friends with ryan hannah Mathilde. it's like a small um a small circle of friends so we get to spend a lot of time together going on hikes mountain biking um so the the mood was really nice and was really fun and uh yeah i remember we were you know after reading lines we would always you know get drinks together go on hikes together uh you know we had a really good time and everything was really simple because we were just after covid everything was still closed so it could have been a little bit weird okay i'm sitting in my room nothing to do but you know we went to each other's room and you know read text a cold reading go on hikes it was really a good vibe yeah do you have any other projects coming out that you can tell us about so i'm actually going to be in los angeles in a month uh filming a movie uh can't really tell you about this but i'm going to be filming for a couple of weeks there mm -hmm. and then next spring i'm going to be in a horror movie a genre movie well, we, I'm going to be playing a lead character into his psychotic uh, universe. Completely different, really dark universe. Uh, but that's for next year. Okay. Thanks for watching the You Interview channel. With over 3,000 original celebrity videos, we have one of the largest collections of celebrity interviews anywhere. So remember to like and comment on our videos and subscribe to the channel. If you want to get more involved, you can become a member of the channel. Membership has its perks. You can see exclusive celebrity videos and get the opportunity to ask our celebrity guests questions. We can't wait to hear from you.